Procedures for assessment of resting blood pressure. Patients should be seated quietly for at least five minutes in a chair with back support with their feet on the floor and their arms supported at heart level. Patients should refrain from smoking cigarettes or ingesting caffeine for at least 30 minutes preceding the measurements. Now in order to measure the blood pressure, we will need, be needing a sphygmometer, which consists of a pump and a cuff. We'll begin by wrapping the cuff firmly around the upper arm at heart level, aligned cuff with brachial artery. The appropriate cuff size must be used to ensure accurate measurement. The bladder with the cuff should encircle at least 8% of the upper arm. Many adults require an adult cuff. Make sure the cuff is correctly put on since the arterial mark should be on the side of the bare arm facing the brachial artery. In order to hear the cord cough sounds, you will be needing a stethoscope. Make sure that when you are putting the stethoscope on, the prongs are facing forward. That way you are able to hear the sounds when the blood pressure is going through the vessel. Place the stethoscope chest piece below the antecubital space over the brachial artery. Bell and diaphragm side of chest piece appear equally effective in assessing blood pressure. In order to increase the pressure in the cuff, you must adjust the valve and make sure it is closed. If not, there will be no pressure put into the cuff. If you have problems putting pressure into the cuff, make sure that the valve is tightly closed and then continue into putting pressure in the pump. That way the cuff is inflated. Now you will need to put the pressure up to 180 millimeters of mercury. Then release at a rate of two to five millimeters of mercury per second. That way you are able to hear the cortical sounds at around 120 to 80 millimeters of mercury. Now you will be hearing the systolic blood pressure, which is the first or two or more cortical sounds heard in phase one. And then the diastolic blood pressure is a point before the disappearance of cortical sounds, which is phase five. Systolic blood pressures are around 120 or less. Normal diastolic blood pressure is below 80 millimeters of mercury. Receive prehypertension values of systolic blood pressure from 120 to 139 and diastolic blood pressure from 80 to 89, you will need to retake the measurements. That way you can ensure that you are not assessing the client or patient with prehypertension values. Hypertension is considered in two stages. Stage one is 140 through 159 of systolic blood pressure. Diastolic blood pressure can range from 90 to 99 to be considered stage one. Stage two is considered 160 or over for systolic blood pressure and 100 and over for diastolic blood pressure. In order to provide accurate measurements, you must take a minimum of two measurements with a minute of rest in between. If values are accurate with hypertension values, the client is recommended to see a physician for lifestyle modifications and or drug therapy. That concludes the assessment of blood pressure as well as the normative values of blood pressure. Thank you.